Welcome to Jackass. My name is Johnny Knoxville, and this is called The Dog Walk. Billy left home with a dollar in his pocket, a head full of dreams. My name is John Stark. I'm from D Detroit, Michigan, and I'm a videographer. I got into filming a combination of a few things. I had this internship at Ashbury uh, Eyewear and I was filming with some friends around Bear and I had filmed before but never in a really kind of hyperactive snowboard scene and I really liked it. The first project I had was working for the city. Part of the first project um, was Justin Fronius, um, Blake Rhodes Reed, Maxwell Scott. It was just kind of like a ragtag group of humans. I went into the season thinking I was gonna do this like video magazine thing where I was gonna like kind of film the tricks but at the same time like I was gonna film the behind the scenes. More and more people just came around and wanted to film and wanted to film. Next thing you know, halfway through the year I had enough footage for a movie and the one thing I'd probably pull from it was just like how short-minded you have to be because you fail a lot more than you succeed and if you let those failures get to you, it, it's probably not your gig. What I knew about camp was from the session recap videos and how they interpreted camp through the videos is kind of how I felt about it. It had like a lasting effect on me. My first year officially at camp, I was a digger. I did one session video uh, in that summer. And that was kind of like my mild tryout for the next year. Um, the next year I uh, was pretty much running the video department and doing the session recap and I was blessed the year I worked here and made the recaps that I had the greatest group of filmers ever assembled in snowboarding. The thing about High Cascade and filming here is that there is definitely this group of people who have been come through the ranks here. It was Joe Carlino at first and then it went Justin Meyer, Mark Dangler, Tanner, Pendleton, Skylar Brent came out of that and then I took the job after Skylar. So pretty much everyone has just gone on to do like pretty amazing things. It's actually insanely intimidating. I went from just like, you know, just seeing it from the outside and then just being part of this family and it's pretty incredible. I, I met Mike working here in the year I was a digger. The year that I did the Capita movie that summer before, he told me they were looking for a fourth filmer um, to be a part of the project, that talk turned into an actual job and it began my relationship with him. We pretty much traveled the majority of the year together. Rendered Useless came about, Mike Rav came up with the name Rendered Useless, but how it started was kind of him and I learning from the mistakes that other movies that we've been a part of had made and it was about really building an environment where there were no expectations and that it was really just built on you know what the snowboarder wanted to do and how they wanted to express themselves. The biggest learning experience from Rendered Useless was learning the power of friendship. You have the right people around you. It, no matter how bad it gets, it, it's gonna be fine. Just continuing just to be able to surround yourself with people that are about it the same way you are. I just wanted to make a movie where I could rewatch it and just be endlessly proud. Something that never felt old and that I could look back on and know that it had a certain place in time. What's your final word? Uh, watch Rendered Useless coming to a theater near you. <laughs>